Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I just woke up and just washed my face so that I cannot look somehow when I appear here. So we thank the Lord for another day. Today I'll just be going out uh, to pick up some few things for myself and for the house. The energy is not there yet because it's still morning. It's still morning. I haven't done anything much, so I'll just prepare to go out. We are banda. It's still cold. It's still cold. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. It's another day. It's another day indoors, just doing the usual. My baby is asleep, so I thought I should pop by and have a chit chat and close this vlog properly. So people have been having e challenges. People have been having e challenges. I feel like the challenges I've been having are different from the challenges I had when she was one month. When she was one month, I was like. Uh, crying about his sleep deprivation and all the emotion of me the part that he didn't see the emotions which were taking a toll on me so all those challenges now they're kind of all gone yeah they're gone now i feel like i'm okay i thank the lord that he helped me to cope with a lot and now we are in at this stage 
so now the few challenges that i am facing is this baby weight refusing to go down so what i've been doing recently every time i go for an immunization i try to weigh myself and to my surprise i saw that my weight is going up instead of going down of which it gave me a lot of it discouragement it demotivation it disappointment for the past two weeks for the past weeks i've been disappointed i was like let me just live my life and forget about like trying to do other things but now i feel like yeah from this week from this week or last week i'm not really sure but recently i told myself let me not give up let me try again let me keep on trying because what happens you know my clothes don't fit me i'm still wearing clothes that i was wearing while i was pregnant that's the issue that bothers me a lot and secondly i want to lose weight because of health issues you know there are a lot of health issues out there because of e weight you know so that's the other issue like because of health issues and also i feel very flexible when i'm sleep uh in my 20s i tried doing a diet and stuff and it worked so well i was like slim and i loved my body and all that but now i'm having a struggle guys i know even on my first pregnancy it took one year for my weight for me to to see a difference let me just say that so I know I should give myself time. I don't know whether it's still early or I'm pushing myself or I'm pressurizing myself. But for me, what motivates me a lot when I see progress, even if it's a little progress, that's how I am. I like it when I see progress, you know. So even if I could get to like uh, go down by one kg, that's a win for me because I love seeing progress. So when it comes to the weight also, if I could say progress, it would be nice. So seeing those numbers go up, it just gave me discouragement a bit. And uh, when I thought I was like um, on, on something, doing something, you know, moving around because I was outside more often doing the walks, um, not every time, but I was outside doing walks i was like moving around even in the house you know with a baby you know that's a workout on its own the lemon water thing you know i thought i was getting somewhere but uh, when i tried to think about it on what was wrong what i did wrong um uh, and i saw that since i'm a big snacker i love snacking a lot so i'm a doritos girl i'm a jelly babies girl i'm a biscuits girl you know when it comes to snacking i snack a lot so i thought maybe uh, that's what made me to gain a bit because hey now would eat doritos two times or three times a week i don't care i don't know whether it's an addiction or what but when it comes to chips, I'm, I'm, I'm a snacker, guys. So I thought maybe it's that. So I tried to lower a bit when it comes to snacking. I stopped having any snacks in the house. I don't have snacks even recently, just to see the progress. And also I've been having in the large meals. I've been having the large meals. I don't know because I'm used to like eating a lot while I was pregnant. So it's still difficult to get myself to have those potions you know i have been having large so i thought of those two maybe they were the two things that made me to gain a bit so i'm trying to work on those two so i have told myself i won't give up although it's challenging it's hard people and the other challenge is to just ease up and not be an overprotective you know when i was out when I was out doing the errands, I was struggling to focus. Uh, my thoughts were at home. They are my baby. Maybe she's crying now. Hey, I have to quickly get done so that I can get home. There are stores that I wanted to pass by and just look at some few things, but I couldn't because I was like, I need to get home. I need to get home. So that's the other challenge I'm having to just ease up, you know, and trust the loved ones that are part of my baby's life to take care of her too i'm always like wanting to be present you know <laughs> i'm always like wanting to be present when things are done you know and see how things are done so i think i have to take it easy i think but it's difficult to take it easy and we've been having a quarrel a lot with my guy because i'm that girl who's saying don't do it like this it's done like this you know i'm that girl have you sanitized have you washed your hands i'm that girl 
I'm that mom, people. I'm that mom. So I've been having a challenge to not be overproductive, to ease up, you know. It's still early days. And, you know, with me being afraid to just expose my kid to the crowd, you know, those being a person who's, who's, who's not a fan of being among the crowd that much, especially people I don't know. I struggle a lot. I don't know what's with me or the way it's the way I am. So I often think about her, whether maybe she'll be overwhelmed or something like that, you know. So I'm trying to take it easy and let the loved ones that are involved in her life to also be part of her life. Uh, we'll see as the days go by. So I've been having those challenges for them. I've been having those challenges. I'm hoping to do better because I learn. I used to not understand when people are always like, my baby this, my baby that, while I didn't have a baby. I'm my baby this, my baby that. If maybe they are ordered to be somewhere or to be part of something, you are have a baby, yeah, this and that. Now I fully understand how it feels because it's happening to me. Because I'm like, I cannot do this. What about my baby? I'm always like with those thoughts. Now I do understand. Anyway, I just wanted to share those people the challenges of a new mom, you know. And if you are new here, welcome again. I'm hoping you stick around and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see how I mess up, if you want to see how I grow, if you want to see how I do things better, if you want to see me growing up to my 40s, kindly do subscribe and check me out. I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm hoping to see you on my next video.